is Timothy Lee. I am the head of platform at Theta Labs. And today I want to give you kind of an insider look at what we've been working on. So recently we, want, we launched our mainnet, um, which we're super excited about. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at some of our progress in terms of uh, all of the device platforms that we're currently supporting and testing on. What's really exciting today is that uh, the Korean partner called CJ Hello that we've worked with also is a manufacturer um, and a distributor of um, these CJ T TV viewing boxes. Um, so think of them in terms of a Roku or an Apple TV. And this is what we'll be showing today. So basically it comes uh, in a box like this. Uh, this isn't new because they basically modified it a little bit so that we're able to push our SDK into the viewing box and then they sent it over to us. Um, so we've basically set it up and uh, basically it just comes with two uh, pretty main parts. Uh, you have the viewing box itself, which is just a little box here. Um, it's got uh, these HDMI ports in the back and it's just plugged into the TV here. And then you have the remote control. Uh, I believe that the remote is uh, audio enabled, so you can uh, do audio commands. And then it's got uh, Google viewing, uh, Poop TV, Netflix, and TVing all integrated into it. Um, so basically viewing is the main uh, app in this viewing box. Um, Poop TV, Netflix, and TVing are all uh, OTT uh, apps. Um, video on demand and live streaming apps that, it, that this uh, viewing box supports as well. So let's take a look at what uh, this viewing box is all about. So um, we pulled it up right here and um, viewing itself supports both live TV channels delivered over IP or the internet protocol or uh, also VOD which is video on demand. You can see up here we have live VOD and it also supports a number of apps. Um, so basically, uh, we pulled up CJO Shopping. Uh, uh, it's basically a shopping network, uh, very similar to a number of the shopping networks that we have here on TV. So the really interesting thing is that uh, we've been able to port our SDK and our um, app onto, uh, uh, onto the viewing box itself. So uh, we'll show that off to you. So let's start with the PC first. Um, you see here, uh, this is Sliver TV, which is an esports streaming site where people come to watch other people play uh, games. Think of it in terms of a Twitch with some enhancements in terms of user engagement. So we've integrated Theta with Sliver TV. And over here, you can see that this is the number of Theta Fuel tokens that I've earned. Um, through watching the video stream. And if we come down here and take a look at the traffic composition graph, we see that um, the red shows the amount of data, video data that I pulled from the content delivery network, which is the traditional way uh, video streams are delivered. But the blue shows how much data I've gotten from uh, peers in the Theta mesh network. And the green shows how much data I've relayed and shared to other users in the Theta network as well. So basically the green number here correlates with the amount of tokens that I am earning. And over here I have eight peers or seven peers now and this shows my uplink and my downlink bandwidth in relation to sharing with other peers on the network. So if we come here now to the mobile phones that we have running. Again, it's watching the same video stream, uh, but this time it's fired up on two mobile devices. We can see on the left-hand side, the phone is peered with four or three peers right now. And from all the video data, it looks like it's gotten 1.1 gigs of video data from peers in the Theta Mesh network. And um, that's actually quite a lot compared to the amount that it's had to pull from the content delivery network. So coming to the phone on the right side now, um, we can also see that this one has two peers and uh, it's actually relayed almost as much video data as it's pulled from the CDN, which again is how it's able to earn these data tokens. And if we scroll all the way back up to when it first started, it was initialized with um, a lot, but it was initialized with a wallet address. So uh, because this was a new uh, user, so to speak, um, it initialized with a blockchain uh, Theta wallet address with zero Theta and zero T-Fuel. But um, 
as this phone and as this device relays more video streams um, through the green number here to peers, uh, it will earn these data fuel tokens. Okay, so we can now come to uh, the viewing box and we see here on the TV that again it's watching the same stream and we see all these logs being outputted the same way that it was outputted on the phones itself. So um, the user interface is basically, it's still pretty uh, rough, but that's because we're building this SDK out to be integrated into another app. So this is basically, these are logs being outputted just to show what's going on. And again, you see that uh, the blue number is from peers and the green number is to peers. So there's quite a bit of peering going on uh, through this viewing set top box as well. Here, let's take a look at the technical specs. We're looking at a Korean instruction manual, but I think we can deduce most of the important aspects of it. Um, so on the first line, we see that the operating system is an Android TV 7.1 OS. And so that's how we were able to uh, take what we've built for the mobile Android mobile SDK and port it over and optimize it for the viewing box. Um, on the second line, we see that it has two gigs of local uh, two gigs of ram and eight gigs of local storage so uh, when we're supporting live streaming that's where ram is really important and when we do start supporting video on demand vod that's where the eight gigs of local storage will become important um, you can imagine caching certain segments of an entire program um, on various edge devices like the CJ viewing box and being able to serve uh, a movie or a TV episode um, in piecemeal uh, with uh, through a decentralized way with parts of the video data cached on each viewing box.